Hi, hello everybody. I'm Hiroshi Nakano. Please call me Hiro, like Hiro, okay? I'm the author 33 books in Japanese and I'm the YouTuber 150,000 subscriber, but only in Japan, in Japanese language. But this channel is a guide to Japanese culture and Japanese custom. So I to try to speak English. Please, your support, please, your like button and sub subscribe this channel, okay? Thank you. So, today's topic is onigiri. You know, onigiri, if you uh, if you go to the convenience store, a Japanese convenience store, a uh, 7-Eleven or Family Mart or Lawson, you can easily find the onigiri. Okay, i let you know the onigiri. Onigiri are rice balls, okay? Rice balls, okay? Onigiri are rice balls. They are made by forming cooked rice into flattened triangle or round shapes. Onigiri are filled with tuna and mayonnaise and chopped Japanese pickles. Dr dried bonito flakes cooked kelp pieces or a pickled pram, Japanese pram, and uh, wrapped with a large sheet or dried nori seaweed. We Japanese love onigiri. Everybody, everywhere, we eat onigiri once a day. No, 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 maybe uh, several times a month. So, if you come to Japan, you can easily find onigiri. Every store is very, very popular. So, if you want onigiri, you try. But Japanese, no, 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 foreign people sometimes uh, ask me, Mr. Nakano, do you think onigiri are comparable to sandwiches? Oh, it's a good question. Yeah, i show you the, um, the difference. And the ideas are very similar in that both are portable and eaten by hand. An ideal food as lunch or a snack. They both have grilled version too. Also, grilled onigiri are much similar with no filling inside. Grilled onigiri are popular menu item at izakaya. Do you know izakaya? Yeah, I show you the izakaya at the before topics. Please let please check the izakaya topics. Uh, this is um, onigiri. Yeah, this channel is guide to Japanese culture and Japanese custom. Are you interested in the Japanese culture or Japanese Pokemon or Kimetsu Yaiba or Japanese anime? If you are, please subscribe this channel. Okay, yes. Okay, today's topic is sushi. You know sushi. Oh, let me introduce myself. Okay, I'm the author of 33 books. I'm business owner. I'm YouTuber. Yeah, 150,000 subscribe. But just in Japanese. So I opened this channel. This channel is, I try to speak English. All videos in English, okay? So today's topic is sushi, okay? i show you the sushi. Sushi is a dish of vinegar rice. Vinegar, Vi vinegar, okay? I pronounce it, okay? Vinegar rice, huh? Uh, sushi is a dish of uh, vinegar rice. The most common type of sushi in Japan is nigiri zushi. Nigiri zushi, not sushi. Sushi zushi, okay? Nigiri zushi. Just, just sound sushi. But uh, nigiri zushi, yeah, nearly a bit uh, different phrases, okay? Yeah, nigiri zushi, okay. Uh, say it again. The most common type of sushi in Japan is nigiri zushi. It is a dish of small hand rolled balls of vinegar rice topped with various ingredients, usually raw fish. Okay. Some of the popular toppings include tuna, salmon, and yellow tail, and some kind of raw fish. Okay. Yeah, people. Uh, often ask me, uh, Mr. Nakano, I like California rolls. Uh, they popular in Japan too? Mm, yes, they are. 
they are similar to maki zushi. Yeah, yeah, this is maki zushi, okay? In California laws, a seed of nori is used to wrap this ingredient in the center, while in maki zushi, the whole roll of vinegar rice with uh, integrants in the center is wrapped with a seed of nori, okay? Yeah, we love sushi. We Japanese love sushi, but you are maybe sushi mania or you like sushi thank you yeah next time if you uh, ask a question about sushi please call me no 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 please uh comment please say uh, comment a question okay i'll talk about sushi another topic videos okay? okay thank you for coming us this channel is a guide to Japanese culture and Japanese custom and Japanese language, okay? If you are interested in Japanese or Japanese culture, Japanese cu custom, please subscribe this channel, okay? Thank you. Yeah, uh, my name is Hiroshi Nakano. I'm the author of 33 books in Japan and five type of books in Chinese, Korean, and Taiwanese, and two books uh, into uh, English, okay? And a more as uh, a business owner, and the third business is a YouTuber. 150,000 subscribers in Japan, now in all in Japanese. So if you can hear or uh, understand Japanese, you try the, the, this channel okay but uh, just you choose this video as uh, all in english i try to speak english okay yeah today's topic is omote nashi omote nashi okay omote nashi yeah. i'll tell you the omote nashi omote nashi refers to japanese style hospitality okay hospitality japanese style hospitality means omote nashi okay omote nashi refers to japanese style hospitality its basic idea is treat guests with polite words and attitudes and offer them heartful services from the guest point of view. The spirit of omotenashi, the spirit of omotenashi developed from the tea ceremony, tea ceremony, which emphasizes the host hospitality and the guest application to the host okay yeah some foreigners are ask me mr nakano please let me know the i can't i can't get the difference between hospitality and omotenashi is there any big difference okay i answered basically they are very similar but in omotenashi in japanese the guests do not request anything and leave everything up to the host. The guest expects the guest expect some surprise treatment, and the host tries to offer more than expected. In a way, omotenashi is an um, indirect from an uh, indirect form of communication between the host and the guest. They understand. I try to explain the, the difference the uh, omotenashi or the hospitality. Hi, Hi friends. Thanks. Welcome back to this channel. This channel is a guide to Japanese culture and Japanese custom. Today's topic is suimasen, suimasen. This means uh, I'm sorry or excuse me. Do you understand suimasen? Yeah, like the I'm sorry, excuse me, the Japanese way. Uh, Suimasen, suimasen, like this. Yeah. Hi, I'm Hiroshi Nakano. I'm the author of the 33 books and a business owner and a YouTuber. Yeah, my YouTube is a uh, first YouTube channel is a uh, 150,000 subscriber. And this channel is my fourth, fourth channel only in English. I try to speak English, but I'm not a good English speaker, but I try. Please listen to me okay if you are interested in the japanese culture or japanese custom please subscribe this channel okay yeah today's topic is suimasen okay i'll talk about suimasen suimasen has 
、uh, すいません、is a phrase used when Japanese apologize. It's similar in meaning to I'm sorry or excuse me in English. It's literally, lit,、uh, okay, すいません、sorry.、Uh, it literally means that something has not finished. Implying the speaker needs to do something to compensate for what is done. In formal situation, people use Moshi wa ke gozaimase in Japanese way. Moshi wa ke gozaimase. More polite is suimase. Suimase. First, suimase. And more and more polite. もしわけございません。Which means I have no excuse. Do you understand? Okay, many people ask me that, Mr. Nakano, please let me know.、Um, yeah, I've noticed Japanese often say I'm sorry when they don't need to apologize. Why is that? Okay, for me,、uh, many, many Japanese think,、uh, okay, I answered. In such case, they simply mean, excuse me. Many Japanese often mistranslate the Japanese phrase, すいません which does mean, I'm sorry, but is also commonly used when people want to get someone's attention or interrupt others. The Japanese language has so many polite expressions, and sometimes it's difficult for Japanese to find equivalent English phrases. Sumimasen! <laughs> yeah, it's very, very difficult for us, this apology phrases. Okay. If you find or you、uh, meet a Japanese, please check Japanese. すみません。I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Do you understand、uh, where,、uh, what I mean? Yeah. Today's topic is すみません。Please、uh, listen. Okay. すみません。Okay. Once again. すみません。Okay. Okay. Thank you for、uh, choosing these videos and thank you for、uh, my listen. Okay. Bye. See you again.